What's happening, guys? David here, your Android junkie at AndroidSpin.com, and what am I doing? I'm rocking my HTC One without a cover. I'm living on the edge, guys. You know what happens when you don't rock your HTC One without a cover? Yeah, that little guy right there. That's what happens. Yeah, I did my little weekly cleaning, you know, to get off the oily, nasty. Anyways, that's not what we're talking about here. We're going to be talking about the app of the week, which is Taskbar. WPA style, and that means Windows Phone style, I think. I mean, it says, no, oh, yeah, it doesn't say WP. What am I thinking? It's just Windows style. And basically what this app does, it's just an app launcher. As you can see, nothing's different. I'm actually rocking Action Launcher still. But what this does is, if you can see right here, there's something kind of, you know, ghostly right there. And what that does is this. Ooh. Look at that. It basically just turns your home screen into Windows. We're all familiar with Windows, right? And it has all your apps right here, as well as toggles. I can adjust my brightness right here. I could turn off my Wi-Fi. I could turn on my Bluetooth. I could turn on airplane mode. And for some reason, my picture is not showing up right there, but eventually it should. I don't know why it's not doing it right now. Shh, shh. Notifications always happens when I'm doing a review, but yes, it's actually kind of cool. And as you can see, I have this little guy right here, which I could put anywhere as long as it's on the edge of the screen. And once I hit them, that's what happens. So let's go into the settings here. Obviously, I got it enabled. We got edit start menu, edit start menu items. So you can choose which apps you want on this launcher. Which, you know, I don't see why anybody wouldn't want any of their apps. I mean, I guess certain apps they wouldn't want. And you can have the layout. Like, you can adjust the uh, the height. You can adjust the transparency. So you can make it look pretty cool. And uh, the start menu height as well. So you got the taskbar and the start menu height. So you can adjust those just like that. Pretty easy stuff, normal. And then we got edit setting items. So if you wanted to do more, you could add more little toggles here which is pretty cool actually then we got start button icon we got a few icons you could use that's what that little guy is so if you wanted to make it like an android guy see now it's a little android guy whoa whoa see see what happens i don't have my cover on and here i am slamming it on my table <sighs> live on the edge guys live on the edge start menu above status bar you know if you want to remove that um oh wait start menu. yeah that's that's if you want to do something there. Yeah, that's totally different. I don't even mess with that. Um, you got UIs. So you can select the theme. Like I have the black theme. Didn't really look like the black theme. And then you got classic, defaults. It's pretty cool stuff. Persistent notification. If you don't want it on your notification bar, we could just remove that right there. Another little cool thing too is uh, you can actually change the position of where it pops out of. So I have it on the, bo um, the bottom left corner right here, but I can actually have it on the top left if I choose so. So let's go ahead and check that out. Boom. So now it's above. See now it's a dark theme. Before it wasn't the dark theme, so I'm probably just a little bug. But that's pretty cool. It just kind of just does a little effect. The scrolling has gotten so much better. Um, I was actually using this for a while. And I've been meaning to do a video on it for the longest time. And uh, I was losing, using it for a while, and it was actually kind of laggy, but it's it's improved over the updates. And it also has some recent apps right here, too, which is kind of cool. So not bad. Not a bad little launcher. And, of course, you can actually adjust the um, transparency of this little icon. You can make it really low where you can barely see it. And, uh, you know, if you have, like, a, a home screen and you're configuring it and adjusting stuff with uh, icons and wallpapers, you can really hide the thing, and it's pretty cool stuff. So if you want something different, if you want, like, a different kind of app launcher, I suggest getting this. It's actually pretty cool. I actually don't mind it at all. So check it out, guys. I actually have the premium version, too. So check out the free version first before you purchase the premium version, of course. And, of course, you have 15 minutes to check out the premium version. So... Anyways, hit that like thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. And also let me know down below in the comments if you've tried this app launcher out, how much you like it. Well, all right, guys, I am David, your Android junkie at AndroidSpin.com. And this has been App of the Week, WP, or it's Taskbar. I keep saying WP. Taskbar Windows Style. All right, guys, talk to you later.